Hey guys, I'm back with part 5 for this tutorial on how to build this large traditional house. Here in this one, I'm going to be doing the interior layout for the second floor and for the attic. I went ahead and gathered up all the blocks we're going to be using. So be sure to grab the stripped spruce logs, the stripped dark oak logs, the stripped spruce wood, dark oak wood planks, dark oak wood slabs, dark oak wood stairs, spruce wood stairs, spruce wood planks, jungle wood planks, and a spruce trap door, and then some gray concrete, brown concrete, light gray concrete, white concrete, and then cyan, blue, and light blue concrete. And then some gray terracotta, smooth quartz blocks, pillar quartz blocks, chiseled quartz blocks, quartz bricks, smooth quartz stairs, some anvils, and some sea lanterns. Be sure to go ahead and start out with the brown concrete. So I'll just swap out the dark oak wood planks for now. And then let's also be sure to grab the gray terracotta and I'll just swap out the dark oak wood slabs. And I'm going to start doing the walls all throughout here at the entrance of the house. So be sure to switch to the brown concrete. And I'm going to be one block further than the edge of the top of the staircase. So I'm going to be right here. I'm going to place a strip of brown concrete going all the way to the corner of that wall. I'll go ahead and have another layer on top of that. And then let's be sure to replace this block of white concrete that we have here with the brown concrete. And now let's line up right here on top of this wall. We'll bring it over to this corner. So we'll add two layers here. And then we'll go ahead and bring this wall all the way to that side until it's lined up with that other wall. So it's like this. Now let's just focus on each side. So be sure to switch to the gray terracotta. We're going to have a layer on top of that brown concrete. And now you can switch to the stripped spruce logs. And we're going to have five layers on top of that gray terracotta. So just straight up and down, we have the five layers. So we'll go ahead and just continue on to that side. We'll do the same thing over here. So there we go. We have each side brought up like that. Now let's look at this wall here where the window is. We'll go ahead and switch to the gray terracotta. We're going to place two on each side. Just like that. And now we're going to go ahead and just work our way up with the five layers of the stripped spruce logs just right on top of this. There we go. Now let's start working our way in towards the window. So down here at the bottom, you can switch back to the brown concrete and we'll fill in these four blocks just right below the window. Switch to the gray terracotta. We'll fill in one space on each side. And then we'll go ahead and switch to the stripped spruce logs. And we'll just work our way up right here where the single space is. Like that. And now you can switch to the stripped spruce wood. We're going to go ahead and fill in this space right here. So we'll just add two. Do the same here. And then we'll go ahead and fill in these other two spaces right above the window. Just like that. And I could go ahead and just switch back to the stripped spruce logs and fill in the remaining space here. And you don't really have to worry about filling in all the space back here. You could also delete these extra blocks if you want to save resources if you are building it in survival. So there we go. That's what this wall is looking like. It's all filled in. So it's just doubled up like that into the window. And now let's go ahead and focus on this section right here. Now you can switch back to the brown concrete. I'm going to go right here on this corner. And I'm going to start bringing up a pillar. And we're just going to continue the same wall pattern. So I have two additional layers of brown concrete. The block of the gray terracotta. And then the five layers of the stripped spruce logs. So a pillar right there. You could go ahead and now just switch to the dark oak wood stairs. And we'll have this just upside down right here where these four spaces are. So it's here at the same layer as the top of the staircase. 
Now you can switch to the brown concrete. Look here at the right of the staircase. And we could go ahead and add two blocks right there. And then you could replace this brown concrete, or my bad, the white concrete here with brown concrete like that. And then right here where these two spaces are, you could go ahead and add some anvils. You could also place more anvils on top of these stairs right here. So that's like a little railing and this will be a viewpoint so you can look down from the top of the staircase. And now let's grab the dark oak wood planks. I'll just swap out the anvils and I'm also going to be using the spruce wood planks. So I'll just swap out the jungle wood planks for now. So let's go ahead and switch to the spruce wood planks. I'm going to line up here at the left where this wall is. I'm going to place a strip right here. So eventually all these floors throughout here are going to be the spruce wood planks. And then all this space, as well as everything over here, is going to be dark oak. So let's go ahead and switch to the dark oak. I'll go right here, lined up at this wall. I will place another strip like that. I'll go ahead and just bring it all the way over, just like that side. And now let's go ahead. You see all this space right here is going to be dark oak planks. So let's go ahead and fill all that in. So there we go, we have all that filled in, just marked out for now. So now, let's go ahead and fill in the wall that we have right here, as well as for this side. So I'll go ahead and just look here at the left side first, we'll just fill in this side, and exactly what we do over here, we're then also going to do over here on the right side. So, you can switch to the stripped dark oak log, and we're going to start marking out a doorway. So just right up against the wall here, we'll bring up a pillar of four. We'll go ahead and have two sideways ones, and then we'll have another pillar of four here. So just a doorway like that. And then let's add the additional three layers of the stripped spruce logs on top of the doorway. And we have these two spaces here, so we'll go ahead and fill the first layer in with brown concrete, and then the gray terracotta, and then the rest of it with the stripped spruce logs. So it's looking like this. Let's look over here and do the same thing. So just like that. Now let's look at this back wall where the window is. We'll have a layer of brown concrete. We'll have the two spaces of the gray terracotta. And then we just have these two spaces of the stripped spruce logs going all the way up just an additional five layers. Do the same on this side. And now you can switch to the stripped spruce wood. We'll fill in each corner. And then the two spaces above. And then we could just switch back to the stripped spruce logs. And fill in the remaining space. Now let's just go ahead and look at this left side. And we'll start marking everything out here. So we'll start filling in the floors first. So make sure you have the spruce wood planks. And I'll just look over here and bring a strip straight across from one side to the other. And then I'll go back here, fill this in, and then bring this all the way over to the other side. Fill in the last side here. And now all of that space throughout the middle, we could continue filling in. And now let's start marking out all of the walls. We're going to have the same wall pattern that we had for all of this here. So you can switch to the brown concrete. We'll just have that first layer going all the way along the outer edge. Just like that, we have those three sides. And now on top of that, we'll have the gray terracotta. Just want to make sure to skip over all the windows. And now we have the five layers of the stripped spruce logs going straight up and down. And then above the windows, we're going to have the stripped spruce wood. So you can switch to that. We're just going to fill in the two spaces there. And then everywhere else, we'll just have these stripped spruce logs.
So this is what it's looking like, all brought up. Let's look over here. I'm actually gonna carve out a hole and mark out the doorway that's gonna actually lead into this bathroom. So we'll leave the one space at the left. So we'll start on the second space, we'll carve out a three, and then we'll add an extra three above that. So we have a three by four hole. You can switch to the stripped dark oak log. We'll have the four on each side. And then the sideways there at the top. And now I'm actually going to go on the other side and I'm going to double this up. So I'll just have the four layers here. I'll just start at the top, work my way down. We have the sideways one. And as you can see, we could only add an additional three here on the left. So we have this doorway doubled up, all marked out. So the room is all done. We'll head on into here and mark out the bathroom. So in here, we're going to be using the smooth quartz blocks, the smooth quartz stairs, the quartz bricks, the chiseled quartz blocks, and then the white concrete. So we'll start with the white concrete and we'll look here at this wall where the doorway is. I'll fill in these two spaces, just here at the same layer as the bottom of the doorway. And now on this second block, we'll go ahead and add two layers going out. And then we'll bring this all the way over till that light gray concrete. Right there. Now we're going to start right here, work your way over towards the right and place an additional eight. And now we're going to go ahead and work your way over back towards that side. And you can see how this white concrete is right here at the edge of these stairs. So we want to be sure to bring this over until it's right at the edge over on that side. So we'll bring it over and it's going to be right here so you can see how this white concrete is right at that corner part of the stair so now you should be able to bring this straight across right into the side of the doorway just like that now on top of this we'll go ahead and add a layer of chiseled quartz So we went ahead and just marked out the outer edge of all the walls. And now you can switch to the white concrete, we could just fill in that space right there, and then this back wall here. And now, let's go within the edge of the walls, switch to the quartz bricks, and start filling in all the floors. So make sure to get this single space here in between the doorway as well. You can see how I'm just right here within the edge of the wall. So there we go, we have the walls and then the floors. So this is what it's looking like so far. And now we're gonna add a wall going across right here towards this back side for a closet. I felt like this was just way too much space for a simple bathroom. So might as well go ahead and add a closet back here. So. You can switch, well actually let's go ahead and grab the stripped dark oak logs, that'll be used for the doorway. But we're going to start with the white concrete, and I'm just going to leave three spaces. So we're going to be starting here on this fourth space, and we have just two spaces of white concrete on each side, leaving the three spaces in the middle. And now let's have a layer of the chiseled quartz. And then we'll go ahead and fill the rest of it in with the white concrete. So just these three spaces for now. We can then mark out the doorway. So we just have the four layers going up on each side. And then the sideways one at the top. And now above the doorway you can fill the rest of this in with white concrete. And now let's start covering up all these wooden stairs with the smooth quartz stairs for the ceiling. So I'll just look over here at this doorway first. We'll just wrap around this wall. So just upside down smooth quartz stairs to cover all of that up like that. We'll go ahead and do the same on this side and just bring it all the way over. Like that. We'll go up on the next layer. We'll do the same thing. Go over here. Do it again. And then we'll go ahead and have one more layer. And we'll just wrap this around. 
and back to the other side. And then we have this strip right here down the middle, which we're actually going to fill in with smooth quartz blocks. So we have all of this done for the main bathroom. And now let's go ahead and do the closet. Switch back to the smooth quartz stairs. Looks like we're going to have three layers going up. So that is one, this is two, and this is three. We have the full blocks here at the top. And then the smooth quartz stairs again on this side. All right. And you can see how bright it is in here. We really don't need any light, but at nighttime, it might be a little bit dark. So let's go ahead and grab the sea lanterns and the spruce trap doors. And we'll add a sea lantern in here, cover that up with the trap door. And we could just add maybe a couple in here. I'm actually gonna go ahead and make these on their side like that. So these lines kind of go in towards these stairs. I just feel like that looks better than having it in this direction. Kind of just looks like it flows better. So there we go. We have all of this completely done and ready to be furnished. We'll head on. Oh, you know what? Let's go. Oh, my bad. I thought those were full blocks. I was going to add some light there, but I won't worry about it. So we'll head on out. And you can see we just have to do all the ceilings throughout here and here. But let's go over to this side and mark all this out. And then we'll go ahead and fill in the ceilings and then head on up to the attic. So for this side, we're going to be using the dark oak wood planks. And then we have the same wall pattern again. So we have the brown concrete, the gray terracotta, the stripped spruce logs. We're also going to need the stripped dark oak logs and the stripped spruce wood. So you can switch to, you know what, let's go ahead and just start with the dark oak wood planks and fill in all the floors. So I'll look at this wall first. We'll bring this just straight across. And then we'll go ahead and work this all the way towards that back side. Well, actually, I guess this is the front side of the house. Right there. And now we'll go ahead and fill this in. And yeah, we'll go ahead and just fill it all in now. So there we go. We have it all filled in. Now let's continue the wall. So we have the brown concrete. And I'll just look at this side first. And we'll just mark it all out. So pretty much just all along the outer edge where we just placed all the floors. Just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and just have the same wall pattern. And remember above the windows, we have the stripped spruce wood. And let's not fill here. Let's go ahead and add one more here and we'll leave these four spaces. We don't have to worry about filling that in since we have a doorway here. Anyway, we're only going to be filling in a few layers at the top, but this is what it's looking like. So let's go ahead and mark out that door. So I'm just going to delete the four spaces. So I'm just right here at the edge of this wall. You can switch to the stripped dark oak logs. We'll place four going up on each side and it's at the two across the top and then we fill in the rest here at the top with these stripped spruce logs just like that so now into here we're actually going to have the bedroom another bathroom there at the back side and this space right here i actually think i'm going to turn into an office and then we have the staircase going up to the attic right here so let's go ahead and mark out the staircase. We have a wall going across here and then we can head on into the other space. So let's start marking out the staircase. So we have all the same blocks, but I went ahead and also made sure to grab the dark oak wood stairs and the anvils. So we'll start with the dark oak wood stairs. I'm going to look here at this right side. I'm going to be right next to the edge of the doorway here. So we'll add two stairs like that. Now I'm just going to continue working my way up in that direction. It's going to be a total of eight layers for the staircase. So once you get here at the top, you could just go ahead and place a stair like that. Two more. And then just delete that one. So eight layers in height going in that direction. Now you can switch to the brown concrete. We'll go down here at the bottom, right next to the staircase. We'll work our way towards the back and just place six. On top of this, we'll go ahead and have the gray terracotta. 
And we're just going to bring it over until we're lined up with this stair. Just like that. And now, let's go up on the next layer. Right here, we're going to have a stripped spruce wood block. And they could have the rest of it with the stripped spruce logs. It's going to be one block higher than the top of the staircase, but we'll just bring it up here to the same height as the other walls. So I'll start here. We have the five layers going straight up like that. We'll fill in the remaining two spaces for this side. And now underneath here, let's go ahead and fill all this in. So we have the two spaces of brown concrete, two spaces of gray terracotta, and then the rest of it with the stripped spruce logs going all the way up to underneath the staircase there. Now we're gonna have a doorway right here that'll lead into this room. So make sure you have these stripped dark oak logs. And we're gonna be up against this side and we're gonna be lined up here where it goes all the way up. So we're gonna keep these two spaces here at the back. So we're gonna be lined up here on this third space. So it's actually right in the middle of where the brown concrete is. So we'll bring up four like that. Do the same on this side two sideways at the top and then on top of this we'll have the extra layers of the spruce logs so we just have the doorway marked out like that you can see these three spaces here we'll go ahead and place an anvil on top of it there we go so we'll actually just go ahead and leave it at that here for this space so you walk through this door we have access to the staircase that goes up to the attic we have this doorway here as I mentioned, I'm probably just going to turn this into an office. And then we have this doorway, which will lead into this bedroom. So we'll go ahead and start marking all of this out next. So for now, I just grabbed the jungle wood planks, the stripped dark oak logs, the gray concrete and white concrete, then some chiseled quartz blocks, spruce wood stairs, spruce wood planks, the sea lanterns, and the spruce trap door. So I'll look here at this wall where the entrance is, and we're going to double up the doorway. So make sure you have the stripped dark oak logs. We'll fill in the two spaces here at the top. And as you can see, we just have three layers on each side. And now let's switch to the gray concrete. This will be the first layer of the walls. We're going to be here at the same layer as the bottom of the doorway. So we'll go here at the left. We'll bring this out by three like that. And then we'll go ahead and bring this over until we are four spaces after the edge of this window. So I'll go ahead and bring it over until we're lined up with the window like that. And now just place an additional four. So this ends off where the walls for the actual bedroom are gonna be. And then all the rest of this space here is gonna be the bathroom. So we'll go ahead and just line up where we left this off and we'll bring it over until we just meet up at the edge of the stair so you can see this gray concrete is right here at the edge of these stairs. So now we'll go ahead and bring this over. We have this part that kind of juts out. So what I'll do is actually start on this side. It'll probably be a little bit easier. And I'm just going to place a strip going straight across right here. Until you meet up with the edge like that. And I will bring this over. And we want to make sure we're just one block after this stair right here. So we're going to go ahead and work this in. Just one space like that. And now you should be able to line up with that block over there. So you could just bring it straight across. Right into that part. So there we go. We just marked out the outer edge of the walls. You could go ahead and now I'm just going to have the layer of chiseled quartz on top of that gray concrete. So just like that is good. Let's go ahead and fill all this in with the jungle wood planks. So just within the edge of all the walls. Okay, so this is looking good so far. Let's look back over here. And I think I'm actually going to mark out the doorway first. So I'm just going to be right down the middle of this wall. I'm going to carve out three. So we have the two spaces on each side. Right in between here, we'll go ahead and fill these three spaces in with the jungle wood planks. And now on top of that, let's go ahead and add the doorway. So just four on each side and the one at the top. And I'm going to go on the other side and double it up. 
but it'll probably be easier to go ahead and place the floors real quick first. So switch to the chiseled quartz blocks. We'll just fill in the three spaces right there. And now on top of that, we can then place the doorway. Just makes it easier to place these logs. So just like that, we have it doubled up. Now, let's go back onto this side and we'll fill in the rest of the wall here. I'm just going to use some white concrete. Okay, I think that is pretty much everything. So let's go ahead and fill in all the ceilings for this bedroom next before we head on into the bathroom. So we're going to be using the spruce wood stairs for the ceiling in here. So it's going to be the same way that we did the ceiling for the bathroom on the other side with the smooth quartz stairs. So I'll just start here at the left of the doorway and just upside down spruce wood stairs. We'll go ahead and wrap this around. We're going to be sure to skip over the window right here, just like that. We'll go up in the next layer. I'll just do the same thing just right here. And now we want to make sure to just go straight across right above that window. You can see we just have these spaces here. We're going to fill that in with two blocks of the spruce wood planks. Let's go back over here. We'll fill in the two layers on this side. So just wrap it around. So just bring this across and then we're going to kind of curve around this part right here. And then bring this straight across into that wall. Go up on the next layer and do the same thing. So there we go. That's all looking good. And now let's go up. Looks like we're probably going to have just one more layer actually. So we'll start over here on this side. We'll bring this over. We'll wrap it around. Like that. And then go ahead and wrap this around back to that side. Just like that. And now we just have this final strip right here, which will be the spruce wood planks. And you know what? I am going to just add a sea lantern right here just in case. And we'll cover that up with the spruce trap door. And then the rest of the light we have in here will probably just be from the decorations. So I'll just leave it like that. But now let's head on here into the bathroom. And we'll start marking all of this out. So I'm just going to use some white concrete. I'll be here at the right side of this doorway first at the bottom of it. And we'll fill in these three spaces. We'll go ahead and bring this over until the light gray concrete. We'll do the same on this side so we have three spaces. Bring this all the way over. And then fill in this wall here. Let's switch to the smooth quartz stairs real quick. I'll just swap out the spruce wood planks. And I want to make sure to place a stair below and above this little window here. Just adds a little bit extra to it. And now on top of this white concrete, I'm actually just going to have a strip of the chiseled quartz blocks. Make sure to skip over that single space where the window is. And let's continue with the chiseled quartz and fill in the floors. All right. And now I believe I actually used light gray concrete for the rest of the wall in here. So I guess I'll go ahead and do that again. So we'll fill all this in here for this back wall. So just like that. And oh yeah, let's go ahead and do this side as well. And now let's start adding all the stairs for the ceiling. And I'm actually going to use the smooth cord stairs in here. I feel like it'll fit better for this bathroom. So I'll look here at this side first. We just have the two spaces and the one space. Well, hang on. There we go. And that will go straight across above that. And then we have the full blocks above that window. So grab the full blocks of the smooth quartz. We'll fill in those two spaces. And then we'll go up one more layer with the stairs like that. And then we'll go on to this side and we'll have three. So that is one, two, and three. And then we have the strip going right down the middle here. Let's actually go ahead and add a sea lantern like that. We'll add the trap door. And then the rest of it will fill in with the full blocks. And that is it here for this bathroom. So we have this entire part of the house done. 
So we have a very nice sized bedroom here and then a bathroom. We'll head on out. And you know what? That is actually everything here for the second floor. We have it all marked out. So let's go ahead and now start filling in all of the ceilings. So it's actually just that space there, the main entrance of the house, and then all of this here. And then we can head on up to the attic. So for all the ceilings, I'm gonna be using the white concrete, dark oak wood stairs, dark oak wood planks, dark oak wood slabs, and then the stripped dark oak logs, and some sea lanterns. And I'll go ahead and just start here at this room first. So with the white concrete, we're just going to be at the top layer of the wall, so we'll just fill it all in. We are going to end up replacing a block right here, but let's just go ahead and fill it all in for now, and we'll worry about that later. So you can see, this block of white concrete is going to be replaced with the stripped spruce logs. So there we go, just at the top layer of the walls, just a solid layer of the white concrete. Just like this. Let's go ahead and switch to the dark oak wood stairs. And we'll have the crown molding. So we're just going to place these upside down all along the top edge. Just like that. So you could add a little bit more here in this room. Maybe I will, actually. Let's go ahead and it'll probably be able to... We could probably do a strip of dark oak wood slabs here and then a strip going across here and maybe one here but then that makes that look a little bit weird actually you know what i do like that we'll go ahead and do that and then let's add a little bit of sea lanterns so maybe one right there another one here and you know what i think that's about it we'll cover that up so we have this room all done let's head on out we won't worry about this quite just yet because we have to do the opening here where the staircase is. Let's continue on into the main room here. So just white concrete again at the top layer of the walls. So all of this is now filled in. Let's head on here into this room, do the same thing. And now let's continue in this room and start adding all the extra detail. So I'll just start out with the dark oak wood stairs for the crown molding along the outer edge. Like this. And now let's switch to the stripped dark oak log. We'll carve out this block right here down the middle. We'll do the same here. We're just going to have a beam going straight across like that and now let's be sure to add our light since it is a little bit dark so we'll grab the sea lanterns and we're going to be placing these where we're going to have the other beams in the opposite direction oh you know what real quick before i forget let's add the extra dark oak wood slab underneath the beam like that on each side just a little extra feature so now let's switch back to the sea lantern and we'll look here we're just have we're just going to have the three dark oak wood stairs that are going straight across right here so we're going to be lined up here on the fourth one. And we'll place a sea lantern here and here. And now let's delete the stair that's lined up with that and replace it with a dark oak wood plank on each side. And then underneath that, we could go ahead and have a dark oak wood slab. And then right next to it, we could have a dark oak wood stair. And then we could cover up the sea lantern with a slab. So that's the little feature that I have there. Gives off a nice light source as well. So we're going to go ahead and skip over three spaces away from this one. So we're going to be lined up with this fourth block. And we'll have the other feature right here again. So we have two of them. I think we have two more. Or no, just one more. So it'll be right here. So there we go. The ceilings and this bedroom are all done. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty big bedroom here. But this is what it's looking like. Now let's head on out. And let's go ahead and focus here on the entrance of the house. So we'll start with the crown molding with the dark oak wood stairs. I'll just look at this side first. 
just place these upside down like we've done everywhere else. We're going to go ahead and bring this over until we're right next to this pillar. So we'll bring it over till right there. So now we're going to be able to have the stairs going straight across here. So it's just right up against the pillar like that. We'll go on this side, fill that remaining space in. Let's just add a couple sea lanterns real quick. There we go. And now, on uh, this side, we're going to do the same thing. So we'll just bring it straight across right here. And then just wrap it around on every other side. And now, for this space right here, you can see we just have the single space. We're going to have an upside down spruce wood stair on each side. We'll do that for here as well. And then we'll fill in the middle. You know what? Real quick, let's just go ahead and add a sea lantern. Maybe a couple right there. And then we'll cover it up with the dark oak wood slabs. So just added these little arches here. And now, let's switch to the stripped dark oak logs. And we're going to start adding the main beams. So I'll just do this section first. We're going to delete this block. And this block. We'll do the same on this side. And then we'll go ahead and just have a strip of the beams going straight across. And then, let's go over to this side. We'll do the same thing. So we'll carve out this space and this space. So there we go. Looking good. Let's go ahead and now switch to the dark oak wood slabs. We'll have these placed in the opposite direction. We can then also have some light above them. So you know what? Let's actually start with the sea lantern. We'll fill in this space here. And this space. We'll do the same on this side. We'll just go ahead and delete that. And now let's go ahead and have the dark oak wood slabs going straight across in between the beams. So we have this section done like that. And we're going to do the same thing here. So I have a sea lantern here and here. Hold up. There we go. And we could just have one right here down the middle. Do the same on this side. We'll delete that. And then cover all this up with the dark oak wood slabs. And now we have this section done. So that's all looking good. And now we just have to do this space right here. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right on into that. So we'll start out with the dark oak wood stairs and we'll just shape out where the opening's gonna be. So I'm gonna be here right in the middle of this part of the wall. So we're not at the top, but we're one block below it. And we're gonna have the upside down stairs going out in that direction by three. So just right above where the anvils are. And now we'll go ahead and fill in the remaining two spaces in this direction, going into that wall. So now this is going to be the opening here for the staircase. And now at that same layer, we'll go right behind all of these stairs and add the rest of the crown molding that we have. So we'll just start here, fill in these four spaces, wrap it around, bring it over to this side, and then bring it over till it's right up against that. And that will just continue and we'll place the stairs just right behind that opening there. And now within the edge of all these stairs, we could go ahead and fill it in with white concrete for the main ceiling. So this is what it's looking like. And now let's grab the sea lanterns. I'm going to go ahead and replace these two blocks with the sea lanterns. And we could do the same right here. So this will be the main light source. And then we'll cover those up with the dark oak wood slabs. So we have three sections of four spaces like that. So that's it here for this space. Now let's head on up and we can start doing the attic. So make sure you have the stripped spruce logs, the chiseled quartz blocks, and the light gray concrete. I'm going to start by marking out the wall here along the outer edge of the staircase. So, I'll just start here at the top of the staircase lined up with it. I'll go over here to this side. We're going to start with the stripped spruce logs. And we'll just go ahead and place this. We have two spaces here. Just want to bring it all the way here to the corner where these stairs are. So now, right on top of this, we're just going to turn, continue it on, fill this space in, back to 
the other side of the staircase like that. So we just have a rectangle like this. And we have this part of the wall just right on top of these upside down stairs here for the opening. And now, oh yeah, real quick, let's replace this block of the white concrete with another log like that. So it's now all nice and neat. We don't have a random block there. And now on top of this, we could go ahead and have another layer of the logs. And then we'll have a layer of the chiseled quartz blocks. And then we're just going to bring up light gray concrete on top of that chiseled quartz until we really can't bring it up anymore. So I'll start with this side, just bring it all the way up until we meet up with the stairs. So just like this. We'll go ahead and fill in these three spaces here, going all the way up. So just like that. And then we have this section right here. So there we go. We have it all filled in here for the staircase, looking like that. We just have to cover up all those dark oak wood stairs where the roof is. But we have all the walls filled in. So now, before we actually start doing all the ceilings and stuff, let's just continue on with the walls and the floors. So let's start marking out the walls for the hallway first, so you could grab the dark oak wood planks. I'm going to start here at the right side of the staircase, work my way over towards the left, and place 10. Just like that. We'll go over here to this side, and we'll bring this all the way over into that wall. Let's go back over here. So lined up where this wall is at the left of the staircase, we're going to add one more layer of the dark oak wood planks. And then all of the rest of the space on this side will fill in. So we'll just bring it up until we're right next to these full blocks of the smooth quartz. So it'll be over by an additional four. So we'll fill this in. Bring this all the way over to that other side. Fill this in, and now all the space in the middle. So there we go. You walk up at the top of the staircase. You look here at the left. We're going to have a doorway which will lead into a bathroom here. So this is all just a hallway. We're going to have a doorway leading into this bedroom and a doorway leading into this bedroom. So let's fill in the floors here for the bathroom now. So I have the quartz bricks. I'll look here at the left. I'll bring this all the way over until we meet up at the edge of the smooth quartz blocks. So just straight across, up until right there. And now we'll go ahead and just fill all of this in right next to that. And now, let's look over here. We'll bring it over until the edge of the wall. So just an additional four in this direction. Just like that. Let's switch back to the stripped spruce logs. And we'll place a layer just right on top of the outer edge of where we just placed those walls. We're going to need the wood right here. So grab the stripped spruce wood. So we'll fill in those two spaces now. And then everywhere else, just right on top of the edge of the quartz bricks, will be the layer of the stripped spruce logs. And right here, we'll go ahead and fill in this space at the left. Then we just have these three spaces right down the middle. So this is where the doorway is going to be. So you could grab the uh, stripped dark oak log. We'll bring it up four on each side. And then the one space in the middle. On top of those logs, we can have the layer of the chiseled quartz. And then the rest of it will be the light gray concrete. So I'll just look over here first and I'll just bring it all the way up until I can't bring it up anymore. Like that. And real quick, let's look at this window. Let's grab the smooth quartz stairs and place one below and above the window. Now all the rest of this space will be the light gray concrete.
So that's what it's looking like. We have that side already done. So we'll go ahead and fill in this space right here. And we won't worry about this since that'll be covered up with the ceiling. So we're going to leave it at that here for the bathroom for now. We'll head on out and let's start marking out all the walls here for the hallway. So we're just going to have the same wall pattern that we have here. So you can start out with these stripped spruce logs. And I'm just going to follow along the outer edge of the dark oak wood planks. And then once you meet up with this window here, you could just switch to the dark oak wood like that. So there we go. We have all that marked out. And now before we bring it all the way up, let's go ahead and mark out where the doorways are going to be first. And then we'll just place the blocks around that. So we'll look at this wall first. We're going to be right next to the staircase. So we want to just leave these two spaces. So we're going to start on this third space. Carve out four. So we have the one space remaining there. And then we just have the same doorway design that we've done everywhere else. Just like that. And then we have the four spaces right here, so we'll go ahead and replace this with the doorway. And then we're going to have the four going up here at the right. We're only going to be able to have three here at the left. And then at the same layer as this fourth one, we can have the two sideways, like that. So now let's add the layer of the chiseled quartz blocks on top of all these logs. And now let's add the light gray concrete until you can't bring it up anymore. So we have that filled in. We have this little section here. And then we'll look above this doorway. We have this little spot. And then for this entire wall as well. So hallway is all done once again we just have to fill in all of the ceilings but let's head on here into this room next we'll fill in all these floors and these walls so here for this room we're going to be using the spruce wood planks for the floors and then for the walls we're going to be using a pattern between the cyan concrete the blue concrete and the light blue concrete so let's start with the spruce wood planks i'll just flip around and look at this side so just here at the edge of this wall We'll bring a strip of the spruce wood planks all the way towards the back. And it's going to stop. Uh, we'll stop it right here lined up where this wall is. So we'll just fill it in like this. And now you can see all this space right here will be the spruce wood planks. So there we go. And now let's start marking out the walls. I'll just start out with the cyan concrete and the light blue concrete. So let me go ahead and just flip these around. And then at the end, we'll just add a few strips of the blue concrete. And real quick, let's actually be sure to double up the doorway. So you could grab the stripped dark oak logs and just add an extra layer on this side. So I'll start out with the cyan concrete. I'll just be here at the left of the doorway. We're just going to skip right over this corner, so we're going to start right here. So on every other block, just skipping over one, we'll have the cyan concrete like that. And now in between all those, where the empty spaces are, you can fill it in with the light blue concrete. Like that. Let's skip over this corner, so we're going to start right here. You can see we just have the light blue. And then the cyan, light blue, just back and forth. We'll skip over this corner so you can see we have the light blue there so we're going to jump right on into the cyan and then we'll skip over that corner jump right on into the light blue so i'll bring this all the way up to the same height as the doorway So there we go, I just brought it up to the same height as the doorway for now, so we just have a pattern back and forth with the cyan, concrete, and the light blue concrete. And now, above the doorway, you can see we have the light blue here, so we'll jump on into the cyan, then the light blue, the cyan, and the light blue, and it all worked out perfectly. So, I'm just going to bring all of this up until I can't bring it up anymore. So 
So there we go, just brought it all the way up until I can't bring it up anymore. So this is what it's looking like. And now let's go ahead and just add a few strips of the blue concrete. And I think that's good. Let's go ahead and actually move this one over one space. Okay, so that is all looking good. I like it. So once again, we'll leave the ceilings for the end. Let's head on out and jump on into this space next. So here for the bedroom for this space, we're going to have the jungle wood planks, the dark oak wood planks, the stripped spruce logs, the stripped spruce wood, the light gray concrete, gray concrete, and white concrete, then some smooth quartz stairs, and stripped dark oak logs. So we'll start with the jungle wood planks. I'm going to look at the left of the doorway. So starting right here, I'm just going to bring this over in that direction by six. So this is right where the bedroom ends. And then all the extra space here is going to be the bathroom. We'll go back on over to this side. We'll bring this over until here. I'll go ahead and count it. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. And now we'll bring this over until that light gray concrete. So you can see how these jungle planks are just right next to where these smooth quartz blocks are. We'll go ahead and bring this side over in that direction as well. And then we'll connect this together. So the outer edge of the floors for this room are going to be the jungle wood planks. And then we're going to have the middle as the dark oak wood planks. So it's going to be similar to how I did the floors for the dining room. So we're going to go ahead and add an extra layer just within this. Since that very outer part is actually where the walls are going to be placed. So you actually wouldn't see that. So then in each corner we'll just add an extra jungle wood block like that. And then let's fill all the space in the middle with the dark oak wood planks. And now I'm going to be using the stripped spruce logs. I'm going to have two layers on top of the outer edge. And then here in front of the window, once again, we just have the stripped spruce wood like that. So now grab the stripped spruce logs. We just have two layers. And you know what? Real quick, let's add the extra layer for the doorway. So just on the bedroom side, we'll double it up like that. And now let's just continue here at the left with the two layers of the strip spruce logs. So there we go. Before I forget, real quick, let's go ahead and grab the smooth quartz stairs and place this below and above that window right there. And now we're gonna have a pattern with the light gray concrete and the gray concrete. And then we're gonna have a few extra strips of white concrete. So that'll be right on top of all these spruce logs. So it's going to be the same thing that we did for these blue concrete blocks here. And I'll just bring it all the way up until I can't bring it up anymore. So I'll just start with the light gray concrete, maybe right here at the left of the doorway. We'll just bring this all the way up. And then I'll have the gray concrete. And the light gray, I'll just go back and forth between these blocks first. And then remember in each corner, I'm just going to skip right over it. So we'll just jump right on into the gray concrete here. So there we go. We have it all just like that so far. We're not going to be doing anything over here. So now let's just add a few extra strips of white concrete. I think that is good enough. And now let's look over here and mark out where the doorway is going to be leading into the bathroom. So now be sure to grab the stripped dark oak logs, the quartz bricks, the pillar quartz blocks, and the light blue concrete. So I'll look at this wall. We're going to leave the two spaces at the right. So we'll start on this third space. We'll carve out three, bring it up so it's four blocks in height. And we'll go ahead and mark out the doorway right here. Just like that. Let's go on this side and let's mark out the floors so you could grab the quartz bricks. We'll have a strip going straight across from one side to the other right here. 
And then we'll go ahead and bring over the sides until it's just right here up against the quartz. So you know what, I'll just start right here in the middle, bring it over until it's just right next to that. And then we'll fill all this space in here and for the space behind me. So there we go, quartz bricks like that here for the floors. Let's add the extra layer for the doorway so it'll be doubled up. And now we're going to have two layers of pillar quartz blocks straight up and down for the bottom of the walls. And then everything else on top of that will be the light blue concrete. So there we go. We have it all filled in. So now I think the last thing that we have left to do for this entire attic are all of the ceilings for every room. So for all the ceilings, just make sure to continue using the smooth quartz stairs. We might need some smooth quartz blocks and then the spruce wood stairs. We're also going to maybe need some spruce wood planks. So let me actually be sure to grab that again. And then we have the spruce trap doors and the sea lanterns. So I'll start here and at this bathroom. We'll probably just go ahead and use the smooth quartz stairs in here. So I'll just look all the way here at the top, cover all this up. So we just have two layers on this side. All the way here at the top, we'll fill in with a couple blocks of the smooth quartz. And then we'll just fill this in with sea lanterns and cover this up with the trap doors. And then all this space right here will be back to the stairs. That'll pretty much be it. We have the two spaces here, three spaces on this side. And then we have these four blocks here, which will fill in with full blocks of smooth quartz. We could go ahead and maybe have some sea lanterns here. Let's go into this bathroom. We'll have some more quartz stairs in here and then everywhere else will be the spruce. So uh, in here, we just have these four spaces, the two spaces on this side. And then we just go straight across here for the second layer. And then we'll have the third layer. And the fourth layer will be the full blocks. And we'll have a couple sea lanterns for the light source here as well. Just like that will be fine. Cover that up. And then we have the four blocks right here above the window. We could just go ahead and get rid of these quartz blocks. And we just have the spruce wood stairs, the spruce wood planks, the trap doors, and the sea lanterns. So here for this room, uh, we'll have just one layer all the way here at the top on that side. And then we'll have a couple sea lanterns, the full blocks, and the spruce trap doors. And then we'll fill in this entire side with the stairs. And then, once you meet up at the window, we have this layer that goes straight across. We have the four blocks here again. And then the final layer right next to that. We'll head on into, I guess we'll do this hallway next. So I'll start over here on this side. We're just going to bring this layer straight across like that. Go up on the next layer. Do the same thing. We have the four blocks right here above the window. We'll go up on the next layer, go straight across. Another one right here. And that will continue filling all this in here above the stairs. Looks like that. So now we just have this bedroom right here. So now all that's done. Okay guys, that's going to be it here for part 5 for this tutorial on how to build this large traditional house. If it helped you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part 6.